Yeah, let me just reset that. Because, yeah, so what the word in the street with it co when it comes to this game is the biggest issue that a lot of people are going through is that apparently this game has a memory leak. Apparently it has a memory leak. Meaning, the longer you leave the game playing, the worse it's going to perform. So, proof of that. It happens with Minecraft too, by the way. Whenever I'm playing with my friends, after like an hour or two, I have to reset my Minecraft. So, I mean, that's fine. Well, it's not the most optimal when it comes to at least Minecraft and this. It's always good to take a break between those, so it's the perfect excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, uh, by the way, they say that the... Because again, I like to see what people say about like this type of stuff when it comes to speed running and all that jazz, right? And apparently, uh, the digital version, not the cartridge, is faster. But apparently, handheld is faster than docked. Which, if you don't know any of those terms, I'm talking bullshit or just nonsense. But it is a real thing. Interesting enough. So, we done the first gym. We have done the first Titan. Would the next Starfall... Would be the first Starfall. What is the first Starfall? Would it be this one? Who's, who's the first the first person that you should whip some ass? The first one is Wes. Okay. Hey, Don. How you doing, Bubba? Path of Legends. This dude? Or am I not looking north? Oh, this one? Alright, bet. Thank you. But yo, everyone, hope all of you guys are doing good. Glad to be streaming more than just a day and then taking a break for three weeks. Feels good, man. <laughs> Fulcrum, come in. Yo. Consistent streamer. Don't say it too loud. I'll get scared and run away. Yo, Midnight Raven. Thank you so much for the tier How two. How goes it, everyone? Hope you all have been doing well. I'm doing good, homie. Hope you're doing good. Also, did I not hear a gimme cool? Hello? What? I heard it again. What the fuck? I swear I heard something. Oh, well. Maybe I'm being psychotic. Let me do this. You know what? Let's see. I don't know if any of the Pokemon that I have already are going to be the ones that I keep for the long run. You know? The voice is psychotic. I mean, if you find this gimme group props because that motherfucker's invisible. Really? Okay, now you got to make me want to do it. Oh, now I want to do it. Oh, no. I'm so basic. God damn it. That's all it took? Oh, Lord. All right. Give me a second. Now I got to do it. Now I got to do it. Now I got to do it. So, let's see. Where the fuck are you? Oh. Okay. Huh. Ugh. Dang, you are making me not progress, by the way. This is not what I should be doing. <laughs> what? I heard it! What the fuck? I heard it. What the fuck? Where are you? 
Where are what? Oh, it's because he's. I know why. Because he's up here. I'm not stupid. I wasn't born yesterday. I just can't reach it. He's up here, you ass. Look at him. He's right there. There. I I went. Go away. <laughs> You ass! <laughs> also, yo chat, cause I'm being psychotic right now. I'm being schizo. How's the audio? What the fuck? Sounds great, all right. Game is a little bit loud. Cause I'm trying to talk in my normal talking voice. I'm not trying to project. I'm trying to have my mic in front of my mouth and me talk like I would normally talk. The game is a little loud for me too. Okay, this is what I want. This is important. Because again, like, you guys can lower me, but I... Oh, what the fuck? Okay, hold on. It's going to evolve and then we're going to fix, okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're going to fix that. Let's fix that. Oh my god, that's so tough. That's such a good looking Pokemon! Through and through! What the fuck? My ba My ball stiff! <laughs> my ball stiff! My ball stiff loves playing with children, though usually gentle. It takes on intimidating look when protecting his family. I love that! What a good pup! My ball stiff. <laughs> Wait, the white? Should another move before I replace the come up and what? What is the come up and dance? The user retaliates with much greater force against the plumbers. Oh, that's really mean. He's like, no you, but harder. <laughs> it's a no you, but harder. <laughs> All right, let me get into a fight and let's fix the audio. No you times two. Giga no you. All right, let's fix this. How is that? Too low or too high? Higher or lower? Higher or lower? I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Higher or lower? Talk to me, chat. Higher or lower? Lower? We got one lower, still a tad bit loud, okay? I'm gonna lower it a little bit more. What about that now? Generic! Jesus Christ! Good lord! Alright, how is that now? I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking right now. This is me talking. I'm not screaming, I'm not going off the rails. I'm, I'm, I'm living my best life. Living my best Hakuna Matata. It's perfect. That's that's really good, actually, chat. That's really good. That makes me really happy then, because then now you guys have given me, given me. Maybe my streams are gonna be a lot easier now since I'm not. What the fuck was that behind me? Oh, it's a dog. You're giving me something or someone to watch while I do some downloading. All right, good. Well, thank you so much for the time. I appreciate it. <laughs> Head for users are not coming. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure that the audio, because like the audio is the most important thing, I feel like, for a lot of these things. All right, so I, I'll trust you. I will listen to the VOD afterwards. Oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> uh, cool shit. Ooh, okay, we have that version, but shiny. Good job, chat, we fucked his audio. Don't say that, don't say that, don't say that. I always feel like my, my stream, audio-wise, it feels like you're in a carnival. It's overly sensitive, like there's just always loud shit going on. So I wanted to fix that. <laughs> 
But, yo, mods, don't be assholes and legit let me have shitty audio for shit so le memes. You're just a loud person? Yeah, because I feel like my audio is scuff. I can be I can be loud while also being talkative, you know? I can be talkative and not... Because, like, I want to be able to stream longer, too. And I don't want to, like, fuck my voice up. I know I'll sound different from the gate now because, like, talking in a in a very projectional voice and then, uh, and then talking in, like, a talking voice. Well, I mean, I'm putting less strain on my voice. <laughs> I love how loud you... Yeah, well, I mean, that should be fine. But, like, my excitement should not make your ears bleed, you know? I can be like, yo! And that should sound, sound like I'm loud, but I'm not piercing you. You know? You know? <laughs> Those are two, yeah. Well, it's because of that, yeah. So when, when okay, hold on. Let me, let me get into this real quick and, and we'll get to it real quick. So what happened is I was doing that meme song that I decided to put on Twitter and that I show you guys uh, on Discord, you know, the Moss and everybody here. Um, so those that don't know, I've been making a joke every time that I get a ringtone or like a call on this phone out here on Pokemon Violet because whenever you say the the word Rodom, the ringtone goes Toto. If you say T-O-T-O -T -O twice in Puerto Rican Spanish, I don't know how other languages, but in Puerto Rican Spanish, it means vagina. And I know a lot of times rappers like to get creative and say sexual things but not in a very direct way example bad bunny and in the end what ended up happening was that i did this little stupid thing and i found out that naturally my mic is really peaky so when i was doing this here I found out that naturally my voice is peaky and it shouldn't be that way. So this this is what I think the the phone sounds whenever I pick it up. That was the first try. I was just bullshitting, coming up with like anything to say. <laughs> that was like one take. That was one take. <laughs> I do like this one part. Referencing how I still have minutes on my phone. How it's not a Nokia or a Samsung. It's not a fucking iPhone. This motherfucker is a, a Rodon phone. <laughs> I was like, yo, okay. This part coming up, I'm like, holy shit, wait a minute, okay. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Man, Reaver does wonders for like singing. 
<risa> Esto no es un Nokia, es un Samsung. <risa> Slide chunky from stuck in your PR buzzing for real for real. Stop. 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 We're gonna we're gonna date ourselves. He sounds like you, it's me. <laughs> what are you talking about? That was me. <laughs> wow, he <laughs> He sounds <laughs> If if this was fluffy saying it, it would be a whole different like way. <laughs> <laughs> if Fluffy was saying, wow, he sounds like you, I would would have taken that completely different. <laughs> but yeah, so the goal with my audio right now is like, my fear is that even when you put me at, <coughs> excuse me, at max volume, I sound low. So if that's not the case, you know, let me know. Because I want to make sure that either you guys can lower me so I'm not blasting you. Or I have just decent audio. It's just I'm just trying to have quality of life when it comes to audio. And just audio is one of the most important things when it comes to streaming too. Someone with bad audio will push like new people away very easily. Or just even old new people if you don't take care of it after a while. So just quality of life. Thank you so much for letting me borrow you guys for this. He's, he like you for real, for real. All right. I want to do something real quick that I found out I can do. And then we're going to continue progressing. Alright, where is that little place? Where are the engineers' paychecks? I don't know. But there's money to be made. There's definitely money to be made. Wait, so is that here? Is that is that the move? Let, let me see if that's true. I think I walked enough way out. But I want to try this. Because apparently this is the means to do it. And if I'm not mistaken, every evolution gets better stats. Am I wrong to say that? Like, Fue Coco will never be as strong as the final evolution of Fue Coco. Right? So then it would be to my benefit. Now, listen, just because Fue Coco is never going to be at the potential of his stats... That doesn't mean that we cannot plan his moveset accordingly to ma better make use of his stuff. While I don't think Fuegoko might be the best one to do that, like having shitty stats in certain places usually could be really good for certain Pokemon too. Because then you use like moves like Trick Room to better affect certain stuff, you know? Some pre evils are better sometimes. Okay. Depending on, on putting an item, right? Like, Sizer and Scissor have the same stats. Fun fact. Really? What is the difference then? That you get a, a stat change, though? Like, being Steel is a lot better than actually being, like, a bug. Right? Scoop, scandam, skidabash. Hey, Trickster. How you doing, homie? Bug Steel is better, yeah. Come. Ah, yeah, yeah, laps. Come on. It's lap time. Yeah, I was going to say, even some Pokemon that you don't fully evolve with Eevee like, they can be doing really well. Yo, Tram. Thank you so much for the 50. Wait, hold on. Does this work? How's, how's the quality of the sound of this? Cause I, I can, I have control of this, but how does this, this sound? Cause technically, I'm doing something right now that a lot of people know. Do I still have that song here? I think I do. Where are you? Yeah. Let me see how this sounds. sound good? Does it eat my mic? I'm curious. Oh my amabu. Sounds like nostalgia. Alright, we're speedrunning Mario again here soon.
Don't we have a BLJ emote? It's like Mario something. I forget. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Chris the Sly version. Was there one? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think he did make one. Hey, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to ground pound at the end. Stop! Stop, you're not funny. You're not funny. Stupid. You're so dumb. Also, by the way, uh, because nobody asked because, you know, I don't need that permission, though. Uh, yesterday, you guys missed a little bit of progression through the story. And we managed to get two shinies back to back. And a lot of people are saying it was not a glitch. You were actually insanely lucky because people are finding ways to do shinies. But the way that I did it was actually not the dupe way because I was not near a town. <laughs> You're right, Sly. We didn't ask. Yeah, yeah. I knew that that was going to be the case. You don't have to worry about it. I know that you're going to be like, no one asked. But I know that it's important that you guys know about this. It's, it's really important. No, no, like, no, no. Seriously. Ser oh, you guys asked? Okay. Giga chats. Giga Chat, I ask. Thank you. Thank you. Pay chatters. <laughs> yeah, legit full off shiny for Tendo Twins. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I feel like a gamer. Hey, chat. I know no one asked, but you guys know that I think you're really fucking cute today and yesterday and tomorrow. Yeah. Just, just, just find me some blush emos. Just find me some blush. That's it. Liar. Okay. <laughs> I love walking simulator. This game rocks. 10 out of 10. Perfect. I didn't ask because I already knew this. If you knew this, you will also already have a girlfriend like that one person that made a girl fall in love with then with their Gundam collection. Where's your girlfriend with your Gundam collection? Other dudes with Gundams can get pussy. Where's your pussy? Where's your Mrs. Gundam? Chat. If if you were to like find someone that you really thought they were cute and they told you, hey, I'm sorry, this could be a red flag. And you go, okay, tell me, it's fine. You're like awesome in every aspect about yourself. They're like, listen. I'm an adult, and I build Gundam models. Like, really, really, like, epic looking. Takes me five to six hours to do this, and I enjoy this. Is that a, a, a green flag or a red flag? I'm not going to give my opinion. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give my opinion. I want to see what chat says first. And then I'll say my opinion because I don't want to, I don't want to influence. Expensive hobby equals green flag. Green unless they're spending money that they don't have. Oh. No, no, no. This is, this is someone that, that does it really healthy 
And then, you know, you know how some people like play basketball, some people ride a bike, some people like like to write, some people like to like make music. This is their healthy habit. They've been doing this since they were a little kid. It became their comfort thing and they do it still up to this day as a hobby. Do you think it's childish and not give them a chance or is that like a positive? We're literally playing Pokemon, childish. I mean, listen, if you were to tell my, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Us right now, us right now in this chat, uh, the adults that are here, uh, whether you grew up with me because of the content that you watch or just because you enjoy Pokemon, we're cut from a different breed and you can admit to that. If a friend of yours goes and says, hey, I'm playing this game, you go, ooh, that's cool. But if your grandfather or your, your parents were to be in that boat, they probably would think I'm like, you're wasting your time. Am I wrong? And again, I know there's just some exceptions. And even more, even more, hold on, hold on. Just let me be even more realistic. Perhaps the people here in this chat will not think of it like that, but there's a lot of people out there that like do like kind of more like outdoorsy things, kind of like more like club vibe kind of type energy that don't think that this type of shit is a red flag. Which, I mean, I personally think that they're a rocky red flag. So maybe it's just because we're in two different worlds. Because, like, I I don't know. I think, like, going to clubs and all that, that whole, like, like concert scene is exhausting. And, but to that argument, I would be like, dude, those old people who put little boat sculptures in bottles a waste of time? I don't know. But how to convey to an old person that that what they found, because I'm assuming they all ass people did that because they found it serene. They gave them peace. And then you're going to be like, hey, I'm playing Call of Duty Warzone 2 and everybody here is telling me how they fucked my mom, but I enjoy this. And they're like, this is serene. <laughs> how do you explain that? How do, I ex how do I explain to my grandfather that even though I'm killing multiple people, launching my bazooka and hitting somebody off a window so I can get a kill streak, so I can be the apex warrior, how do I explain to them that that brings me peace? That was just a rite of passage. If some dude on Xbox Live didn't fuck your mom, you didn't have a childhood True. Factual. <laughs> Real. <laughs> I never had a box like. Good. Three thousand steps. I like him. I like, he feels complete now. I like that a lot. I like that Pokemon a lot. God damn it. The color scheme is really cute too with the blue in the ears. Pomod's fluffy fur acts as a battery. It can store the same amount of electricity as an electric car. Holy shit, it's a Tesla. Don't let Elon see this. Please. Revival blessing. This user bestows a loving blessing, reviving a party Pokemon that has fainted and restoring half of... Damn, that's OP. But it's so situational, though. It's so situational. Break Metacomp? It's... But here, all right, all right, all right. I think in competition-wise, this has, like, a lot of potential. But, like, in a less play. 
when I'm just fighting against fucking brain dead computers, does this have a place? It's useless. Okay. Good. It's useless. It could come in clutch. Well, this is the cool thing about me not taking abilities that some of you guys might think is a really good investment. The cool thing about this, and you ready for it, I can relearn all moves. I can relearn all moves too. And yeah, I, I, I wanted your honest opinion, right? Like I said, is it good in single player? Be honest with yourself. Is it good in single player? You guys know the answer. <laughs> it's too situational. It's too situational. Was it bad to just always ask for advice because that's what I've been doing? No, I think that's fair. Also, I like him a lot, but for sake of, because I don't, I don't know what Pokemon's I want to keep, you know, at the moment. But I do want to keep evolving Pokemon. Oh, actually, I do know that I definitely want this. I, I definitely know that I want this. But wait, he's level twenty nine. What level do I have? Also, what is this? Let me move this. Because now we're, we're playing with the story now, you know? We're going to actually, like, progress, so. How do we move accordingly? Is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. Let me put this in order of Pokemon that I found. There we go. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Yo, is Mudray any good? Because, listen, I think I'm just going to be a fucking flexor and just have shinies and cool Pokemon. <laughs> He's beefy? Fuck it. Let's do it. Also, is, Matt, is, is my boss stiff? <laughs> my boss stiff! Is my boss if done, or is there any more evolutions to it? My boss stiff! <laughs> Your boss are kind of stiff, my boss stiff! <laughs> mm, we should go with the stamina one, right? My boss stiff! Yo, this song is internally just jammies. Bye, killer. Now I have a team of my ball stiff and balls are so. Oh my god. I like this boy. He's growing on me a lot. He's a, he has killed so many Pokemon. He's a monster. <laughs> He's a villain. All right. I don't know what level Meowth and or... Uh, I don't know. If is, does Dolovin have any more evolutions? I feel like she does. But I don't know. Okay. Cool. 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 So, yeah. Let's keep this, this group for now. We'll, we'll always feed into at least two or three. And uh, we always keep Coco with us. I think Meowth is there. Okay, cool, 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 cool. One more for Dolith. That. What are you doing? What? I'm too close? There has been a murder. Oh my god. Me when I see people telling me to follow them in all the social medias on Twitter. Please follow my hive. Please follow me on Tumblr, on Instagram. <laughs> Hit the report button. Yo, Uptown Boy, thanks for supporting. Happy 40 months, Pappy Slice Flub. Yo, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, he's fading in the hole, fading in the hole, fading in the hole, fading in the hole, fading in the hole. 
fulcrum. Come in. <laughs> Alright, so it's this boy. Fade in a hole. Fade in a hole. Fade in a hole. Blood, 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 blood. Skibidi be ba 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 da ba. Skibidi bo ba bo ba ba ba. Skibidi be ba ba. Damn, I got a lot of LP, baby. Jeesh. Should I save it though? Huh. Looser points. They're now looser points. <laughs> Rude. Pay with looser points. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool, though. In case I want to, like, not waste time doing one thing, anything that I do makes me money, so it doesn't feel like a waste of time. If I want to go after Terra's, I'm getting money. If I want to just bullshit, I'm getting money. So I, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm a fan. Pay with looser points. Do we have full heal? Of course we don't. Wait, I don't have a mischievous. Also, anybody here going for for a complete dex? By the way. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! I I I'm I'm debating of of the idea of going for a full dex. This, this we can check if it's at nighttime. The spawn. Cause the 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 fucking must read that we got, both of them were not were not outreach or, or outbreaks. So it's which way? Is it this way? Maybe we'll see the actual outbreak Pokemon. Cause we always came at daytime. No way! It's a ghastly outbreak. Oh no way! No way! Oh my god! Oh my god! I might chat, chat. Can we do one? Oh, I might want to do another one. Fuck! Ah! Uh. <laughs> Shit! I real. What if I get a shiny? The the shiny uh fucking Agent G. Agent G. Ah! Oh. I want it. I want it. All right, I'm gonna count it. I'm gonna count it. One. Two. What the fuck? Three. Four. Five. Six. God damn it, my points completely change. Ah! Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. What's that plus 10? 21. 
22. If I don't count, I'm going to lose count. I know how I am. I've done it like two days already. 27. <laughs> 28. 29. 30. 31. 32. 33 35 36 37 38 39 40 20 more Seven. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Fifty. Fifty-one. Fifty-two. Fifty-three. Fifty <laughs> five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine. do this thing question how does a shiny ghastly look let's do that real quick god it's almost no different fuck it just the shell looks it's blue instead of purple oh lord <laughs> oh lord it's how that mouth is bluish what the fuck Let me see if I can. <laughs> How can I get? I I need a. Uh... Okay, that works. Hold on. Can I can I save this image? Let's see. I think this will be helpful for us. There you go. That's what we're looking for. Kinda. Yeah, that. 
So let's check real quick. So the body is definitely different. It's a little bit more like it's particular color. All right, let's just reset. Shiny Gengar is worse? I know, but at least Mega Gengar is so sick. Unfortunately, we don't have Megas, but either way. For me, it's mainly I want to be able to say I did this method and it worked for me once. That's my biggest gripe here. I did this method and it worked for me. That's what I want to say. Because I can't say that, that, that I've done it. Everybody says that it works for them. I just want to I just want to give it a funky try, you know? So now Try again. One. Hey, Gunner, hope you're doing good. En la calle muy suelto por eso te entiendo. I'm looking for a body that doesn't match their cousins. Also, it doesn't help that they disappear constantly, but because they're so close to other Ghastlies, they should stick out like a sore thumb. That's my logic right now. Because they're next to other Ghastlies, they should stick out like a sore thumb. I don't know if I'm wrong to say that. It looks like a grape. Yeah, it looks like a grape. This is our what? Our third table? See, I lose count so quickly. Out of sight, out of mind. Also, if it goes daytime, we won't be able to catch him. Because he's just not going to spawn. Oh, man. I really appreciate the kind words, Gunner. Hope you're kicking ass at whatever your endeavors are. Okay. None of these are the ghastly. All right, so this is going to be our fourth table. Cuatro mesa, 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 mesa que más aplada le tengo otra mesa, otra mesa, otra mesa. Tra, 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 ya tu sa, ya tu sa, mesa. Cuatro. Sa, 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 ya tu sa, ya tu sa. Cuatro, okay. No. I think you keep having a shiny on the screen. No, no, no. That's too big to be the one. <laughs> but that would be cool if it was that big. Holy shit, look, that big? <laughs> If if the ghastly looks like the ghastly in front of uh, uh, above our radar, it should stick out really quick. Cause look at how dark he is normally, though. You see, the orb is really like like dark. Like just just is it? I mean, I could say it's almost borderline black. So he should stick out like a motherfucker. Well, do you have the model for? Do you have the model for 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 Violet? And whatever, if you have it, give it to me. And I'll put that one. Yeah, please, do me do me a solid. Find it. Because, like, if we can have, like... I mean, I'll take accuracy over, like, somewhat close. Always. I know that the textures are different, but the colors... The color schemes, they probably have to follow. Like, unless it's... Wait, since when do they get creative with, like, 
like changing the shiny colors of Pokemon outside from maybe Charizard. Because, you know, it was a brand move. And Percy was a smart one. I do think Black Charizard is way cooler than the Generation 1 Charizard shiny we had. Which I think was what, green? Yeah, they did it a few times. And la calle Moisus. <coughs> also, by the way, chat. Uh, with, with me being a little more talkative, how's the how's the tone of the voice? Did I sound any different? I, again, I'm only doing this also so I can hear myself later. But always your opinions. Just appreciate it, since you guys are essentially what I consider my real ones. I'm definitely projecting a lot less, which feels really nice in my throat. You sound as good as you look, huh? Thank you. <laughs> Sounds handsome. Damn! That's a W, baby. Okay, is it daytime now? Shit. All right. So what happens now? Is, is do I lose this? Or do I, how long does it, do, how long do I have to wait to come back? The audio sounds like it has a strong chin. I wear a mask with a smile for hours at a time. And when they ask me how I'm doing, I say I'm just fine. The fact is, I'm actually just a freaky mattress. It might move if you're unlucky. Mm, I thought that the only time it would actually move is once it hit midnight. So I thought I was safe in that front. And then all that they can ask is... Mayor! Thank you so much for the gift of stuff. I appreciate it, Why are you so sick, kid? Just like what happened to Brother Blake. I don't know. I think music was never his main thing, and since it didn't pick up the way he personally wanted, he had a fallback plan where he could have done other things. And I think that's a genuine answer for that one. I think his other job was way more profitable, and this was genuinely a hobby that if it would have done better for him, he would have probably stuck with it. But it didn't play out the way he wanted, so he had he just committed to his work. Because if his music was popping off, we would be hearing from it, right? I always thought he has, he was super talented, too. Like, if anybody should have blown up, personally, I thought it was going to be uh, Brother Blake. You know? Yeah, I think, I think, funny enough, and this makes sense, I remember talking to him at one point, and he told me that he worked at oil rigs. And for some reason, I thought, wow, this dude never has to make music. Because I'm assuming you can make stupid money. It's something like that. So, like, why why put yourself at the mercy of, like, an audience so you can have validation for yourself when you can just literally just work and just live a life without the opinion of others? Because, like, I mean, I love doing this, but, like, security also is probably a, a big deal for a lot of people out there. This job doesn't really bring that much security for those either starting or, you know, going through ups and downs. It is a super dangerous job, by the way. I am aware of that. I am super aware that it's a, it's a super back, back laboring job, right? Like, it, okay, so it's, it's done. How long until nighttime comes, by the way? Do we have an idea of, like, the time cycles in Pokemon? Because, like, I wonder, since I didn't, I'm not going to capture any more Gastlys. Like, I'm still not, I'm not too sure about, do I have to kill 60 Gastly in a row? Or just have 60 Gastlys in total that I knock down. And now my odds are better always. Like, that's the only information that I haven't found yet. It takes around 15 to 20 minutes. All right, well, we'll continue doing the goal. 
What did you keep saying? The picnic table? Okay, so let me give you a quick example of a shiny method. Whenever you see the, these things in the map, you see on, underneath the ghastly, there's like a little like icon that is like glowing red. Those are called outbreaks. And you can improve the odds of finding a shiny Pokemon. And again, a shiny Pokemon is such a like, you see that how my hypno looks right now? On the, on the thingy? He's a shiny hypno. And the shiny hypno looks such, such way. So it's just a rare Pokemon that just looks different. Some people do it, and that's an aspect of fun. You know, there's there's a big dopamine hit, and it's just cool to like be different and fight with something you wanted kind of deal. So when you defeat 60 of a mob or a Pokemon in an outbreak area, your chances of getting a Pokemon are a lot higher. But instead of then me walking away until they despawn and coming back, you can also, you see how there's like that little must ray and that little fan in front of me? If I put a table and I actually put it in a place that has space, they despawn. And then when you take away the table, you make all the spawns happen. And essentially, all the spawns that happen again, those are all new spawns. So essentially, when I hit 60 Pokemon, of an outbreak and I do the picnic table, all the Pokemon that spawn have a higher spawn chance of being a shiny. That was the reason. The more you know. I don't know if you knew, but if you join a game, somebody on a different version, you can catch a version exclusive in that session. What do you mean? If you can do this, joining a game with somebody on a different version, you can... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, hasn't that always been the case? But in this version, they allow you to go into the world. It's just we would just trade different ones. But what you're saying is I can continue the game and collect the other versions of the Pokemon I need in somebody else's, which is really cool, actually. Because have we been able to do that in other games outside from maybe Arceus? And I don't even know if Arceus have multiplayer. So where am I? Yeah, you're building. Oh, that's so cool. I've never been able to go into other people's world. Well, I think it's the it's the part of me that played Genshin Impact for a little bit. Then think that was the case. This is the Genshin in me. I'm sorry. I will never make a mistake like that again. F f forgive me. Yo, Bear Panther, thank you so much for the gift and stuff to that Dino Kid. That Dino Kid. I already have this. Also, I gotta get into like making sandwiches. Cause like if I don't, if I do like something with a sandwich at level three, wouldn't I be able to like, ooh, hold up? Wouldn't I be able to like bring the odds of finding those shines even lower? Can I juke you? Don and I are raiding Arthur's world right now. That's funny. <laughs> All right, you're level 15. Will I have a kill? Yep, I found that real quick. I need to figure out what Pokemon can learn False Swipe so I can invest all the fucking time. Give me the coolest and strongest False Swipe Pokemon. I need that right now. I need the highest attack and highest speed false swipe user like right now like yesterday well, that was a rare one too Fuck. Sneasel all right Garchomp will be sick I just also remember I only have one badge <laughs> so at, at a one batch rate what would that be the quota think about that first please I have one batch only please I 
Also, I was watching uh, Moist Critical raid this game, and he was ripping it a new one. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone's so mad about this game. It's, it's insane. <laughs> Everybody's so upset, man. Game Freak came into their houses and kicked their puppies. <laughs> People are mad, and I think it's valid. You know, I'm not. I'm not arguing with the validity of reason why people should be mad. Also, Mirror Panther, thank you so much for the bits, homie. Jesus, I understand why people are mad. I'm not. I'm not trying to write it off, cause like it's at this point, like it's annoying, man. Cause they always like take one step forward, but it feels like they always find a way to take two steps back too. And I'm not trying to be a Nintendo or a Game Freak or anything chill, you know? Cause like I gain nothing from it. Did they just surrender? No, they just got whooped. <laughs> It should be at least able to run smoothly. So this is what I got. I saw this on I saw this on TikTok. So maybe this could shed some information. But even this person that brought some decent information is getting chewed the fuck out. So I don't know. What do you what do you think about this? Let me see how this information changes or adds anything to what you think about the game or whatnot. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is important and it makes a little bit of shunch, but where is it? Tell me that I liked it, please. If I did, I'm gonna be so upset because I'm like, dude, that makes so much sense. Oh, here we go, here we go. All right, cool. I did go me, I did that thing. Also, let me take the gas because we're not doing anything with gas at the moment. And I got yeah, my shoes. All right, so we're having a discussion here. People are now saying the problem is that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is not optimized for the Switch. And they keep bringing up other games like Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, and say the game should be more like that. Okay, let's talk about this. How would you like to optimize it? Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. This is this is a reply to the actual like, thing that he showed. This is what I want to show you. Where is it? 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 That was the second video. I'm trying to figure out where's the video where he actually like, where is it? Let me check on my phone because I think I can find it better. And then once I have an idea what the fuck it is, I can show you, show you. So essentially what he does, so I can like preface before we even get there. He found a way to run the new Pokemon game on an E word, if you know what that means, you know, you know. So he found a means to run. Okay, I it's, I literally like the prior one. What the fuck? I'm so stupid. It was right there. <laughs> Where is it? Yeah. So this is this is uh not on the switch. Submitted for the approval of the angry frothing Pokemon masses out there. This is footage of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet running on the PC Ryu Jinx emulator. This PC has mid specs at best. No code for the game has been altered whatsoever. And as you can see, it runs fine. It runs at a steady 30 frames per second. It can run at 60, but it will run at double speed. To get it to run at normal speed, you actually do have to alter the code. No glitches, no clipping. It just runs. Even when there's a bunch of Pokemon on screen at once, stuff that would normally cause Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to slow down, it runs just fine. Remember, none of the code has been altered. No memory leaks as time goes on. It's just running on an emulator on a PC. And so I ask you, if this is the performance we get running Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on a PC without altering the code whatsoever, and we get worse performance when we run it on Switch hardware, Maybe the problem is the Switch's outdated hardware. Just think about that for a second. 
and then for the and then he made uh, a counter video to a comment somebody said, which was the switch may be underpowered, but it's up to the game devs to optimize games for the hardware they want to release on. When we get Mario Odyssey. All right, so we're having a discussion here. People are now saying the problem is that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is not optimized for the Switch. And they keep bringing up other games like Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, and say the game should be more like that. Okay, let's talk about this. How would you like to optimize it? Would you like to optimize it like Mario Odyssey? Mario Odyssey had very simple environments. Low poly environments with little behavior to them. It was primarily a platformer, so all the behavior was just movement. And there wasn't a whole lot of complexity in enemies. This allowed the camera to render very little as you played Mario Odyssey, allowing the Switch to run very fast. So that would mean simplifying and flattening most of the environments in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, reducing the amount of things on screen, and simplifying behavior. Is, is that what you want to do? That is something we can discuss. Breath of the Wild limited the amount of things on screen that could be rendered at once. It had a very active and aggressive spawner and despawner. In addition, there were a limited amount of enemies in Breath of the Wild. There were Bokoblins, Moblins, a couple other things. I think there were only like 10 or something unique enemies, maybe a little bit more. But much less than the amount of Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So do you want Pokemon to have a limited amount of models, a limited amount of behavior, and limit the amount of enemies that are on screen? That would mean you'd only get, like, 10 Pokemon on the world map, but we could do that. Is that the game you want? Xenoblade Chronicles 3 reuses behavior and models for a lot of enemies, relying on recolors, a lot like Breath of the Wild did. Its enemy behavior is fairly simple, and it keeps the camera very tight so that it doesn't have to render a lot on screen. It also has very vertical environments, which can basically act to hide other parts of the map, which it will not draw. And to traverse these maps, it usually pushes you into corridors or forces you to climb cliffs via particular ladders or something like that. This more limited traversal means that the game doesn't have to try as much to render a whole world. Is this something you would want to do? Optimization is the act of cutting certain things out and using certain tricks to make a game look like it's running better on worse hardware. And optimization is usually baked into a game's design. Optimization is not just a button you can press to make the game better. It's not changing some lines of code and then the game's better. It's literally changing the design to help the game run better on its hardware. And this is what I've been trying to get at from the beginning. Yes, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet should be optimized for the Switch. What would you do to optimize it. Everyone keeps screaming, rabble, rabble, optimize it, rabble, rabble, just make it better. <laughs> what would you do? What tricks would you do to get it running better? That's the discussion we should be having. To get it running better, you need to change the game. How would you change it for what return? That's. I personally would just suck his dick, you know? It's like, if it puts his dick out, I'm just sucking it and things just get better. That's what I would do. I don't know about you guys. Just flat out, just suck his dick. Look at this quality. It's that simple, really. See that one coming, did ya? <laughs> Got you there. Well, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that blindsided me. There you go. Gotta keep you on your toes, huh? <laughs> Damn, the game is so fun at which it didn't look so awful. What would you do about it? Would you suck the dick to fix it? If you're not, then I don't want to hear it. If you wouldn't suck the game's dick to fix it, I don't want to hear it. Shut up. <laughs> I think the game is good, smiley face. <laughs> This angle is like a, a nightmare right now, actually. Look at this. 
This is literally nightmare fuel. I'm trying so hard, but I can't find it. I just stare the talk. This this angle is spooky. This whole thing going on is. Ugh. I was gonna ask what you thought when you mentioned Moist. I'm just gonna say that this is a perfect game with no flaws. Not because I believe it, because I generally think that people just want to be mad. So I just I'm going to get them what they want. I'm gonna be like, this game is perfect, and you're just a fanboy and want to shit on it. Not because I believe on that, just because I think it'll be more funny to just fight with people. Obviously, pointing out the obvious that this obviously this looks like shit. It looks like shit. But why do you have to go to every fucking stream and make that the topic? We know it. We fucking know it. It looks like ass. So, you know what I'm doing? Not you guys. You guys don't count. I'm sorry. You guys know the trick. You guys know how, how the chocolate's being made. So, I can't, I can't use that on you guys. But on new frogs, they'd be like, what do you think about this? I'm like, all right. You clearly come from watching 20 videos and you want to discuss the little information that you learned. So, let's say how you want it. This game is perfect and if you don't think it is, you're a fucking bitch. And then, and then we fight. And then we fight. And that's it. And then I have fun. <laughs> I'm like, this game is perfect. And what is your favorite game? Yeah, this game beats it. And that's it. And now we fight. If they ask me what I think about this game, I think this is game of the year and is way better than Elder Ring and, and God of War. And if they disagree, we fight. It doesn't have any technical, it does not have any technical issues. The issue technically is you. That's, um, again, I'm practicing. I know, I really don't believe this. I'm just practicing how to like offend people. It does not have any technical issues. Technically the issue is you. <laughs> Swab blue. It can't relax if it's or is surrounded are not clean. It wipes the dirt off its wings. <laughs> Fun fact, Swabble can learn false swipe? What? I mean, it sucks that Alteria can't like transform. Man, I wish Mega Evolutions were still a thing. I'm a big fanboy of Mega Evolutions, dude. Do I have a fan fee? I don't have a fan fee. What the hell? You are the issue, yes. Have you ever thought that maybe you're the problem? <laughs> oh shit! You're spitting! Listen, I know where the issue for Pokemon Violet and Scarlet is. It's at your bathroom in front of the sink on the wall if you have a mirror look at the mirror you <laughs> ah come on love me good thing i don't own any mirrors is it because they broke when you looked at them got him <laughs> ah, you witch <laughs> I dated a girl in a coven once, I'm really, but the witch joke made me think of her. I think any girl that likes Horoscopes or it's a crystal mommy is probably a witch. I don't trust them. Because they want to know too much about you without literally not knowing and spending more than like an hour or two. I don't trust crystal mommies and horoscope bitches. Yeah, they're trying to curse us. Yeah, all of you guys. I don't trust you. You guys are garbage. I hate you. I'm kidding, by the way. My partner's really into it. I'm sick of it. My Mercury drinks Gatorade and my Venus is rising. Ugh. Fanfy! It is far stronger than it appears. If a Fanfy is swinging its trunk around, 
and your arm gets hit by it, your arm bone will shatter. Oh my lord. What an aggressive Pokemon. Crystal Mommies is a new word to you? Man, I need to stream more often. You guys are getting really, really disconnected with the world. I need to help. I gotta help you guys. Skibidi bim ba ba boom bim ba. Skibidi ba ba ba. I hate crystal mummies. And how many water, fire, and thunderstones do you have, sir? That doesn't count. That was a gift. That was a gift from a crystal mommy, and I didn't want to make her feel bad. Sorry. That's not mine. I'm holding that for somebody. My girl forgot her purse. I'm holding stuff for her. That's not mine. That's not mine. Can't prove it. I can't prove it. Prove it. Prove that it's mine. Can't. Do I have you? I will now! Sounds like something a witch would say. If that's the case, what it, why is it that the one that has constantly gotten a witch hat? Anytime that we play Minecraft, it's not me but you. Mm. For me, it's what's not said out loud. It's what I see. Just saying. If everyone is giving you a witch hat, what does that say? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a person that likes numbers. The numbers are telling me that if you're the one constantly getting the, the witch stuff, And you're tall like a witch? I don't know. I feel like you're deflecting. I mean, you can say whatever you want, but what does your crystal say, really? That's what I'm interested in. Your opinion? Irrelevant. Your crystals know the word. Namo. The flaming magma is stored in his hump on his back. It is the source of his tremendous power. Look at that. Wait, is Tall a witch trait? Yeah. It's a very witch trait. What does this crystal system say? Don't be a coward. Give me a second. I'm going to check my magic eight ball. It says check another time. I'm going to refer to the eight ball. You guys refer to the crystal? I refer to the chunk ball. Can you swim fly? Like in Pokemon? I haven't killed a Titan that gives me that, that ability yet. I think I, I think I need to kill a few more Titans. Ooh, I don't have the Storky Stork, even though I've seen it. Ah! Speak of the devil! Stork me up! Baby! that himself listen 
I don't know what's going on at home, but but the game, I, I'm not the enemy here. I clearly hit on a sore spot. I don't know if it's the crystal mommy or the witch, but no curses, okay? Ah! Wait, is this a dark type Pokemon? Yeah, there has to be a dark type. Dark this! Don't kill. Ah! Flying dart. Interesting. Don't we have already that with Murkrow? Ah! What the fuck? Where are the Austin? Catches. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, vice supers? Yeah. There you go. Merkel Javelta redacted. Ah! There's a redacted in here too. I thought I escaped that from Final Fantasy, but nope, here we are. What the fuck? God, that hit me. Ow. Here, fucking Ultra Ball, my god, just get in it. Stop playing hard to get. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna, what the fuck? <laughs> what is, what is, what is happening? What's the catch rate of this? Negative five? What? This is the first Pokemon that's so fussy. I have never. Wow. Holy shit. Can Toler spore in this game? What? Yeah, we're gonna need toe then. Good lord. Get on the fucking ball. <laughs> Alright, well there goes. I I I you know what? Let me try this. Let me try something else. Just out of curiosity. happy that I didn't evolve him. I'll be honest. I'm really happy I stuck with him this way. Kill him. What the fuck? Kill him. Ooh, check it. Um, hit him with a round. Will we kill? It happens when you diss the witch and the rock mommies. <laughs> you guys are grasping such straws. That's just, you guys are grasping at tr straws at that point. Stop. You're fishing. You're trying too hard. Stop. <laughs> You're I'm to lay a curse. Ah! You've been hexed. Well, joke's on you. 
Joke's on you because I have the blue eye. If you know, you know. I speak trash because I'm protected. Lo siento. Your hex don't work here. Persian. It has a vicious temperament. Beware if it raises its tail straight up. This is a signal that it's about to pounce and bite. That's gnarly. Power gem. Ooh. Ooh. Not not like blue eye IRL. Like that's a little like little rock and pendant that you can have. It's like the the, the evil eye or something like that. That prevents people from like putting curses and hexes and all that jazz on you. Look it up. It's a real thing. There's even an emoji for phones. Crystal mommies have bled into like emojis. What's your biggest swabble? Normal flying. I mean, it's better than nothing. I need something with, uh, with false swipe. And I can invest in this. So why not? Yeah, yeah. That's it. Let me see. said that it can learn false swipe. Wait, did I have it? What? Is it Alteria? Holy shit, guys. <laughs> You're wrong. I am 4K. We got him. Just a little trolling over here. Whoa, whoa, hold it, you. Up ahead's the base of Operation 14 Star, Star Dark's crew. You may know us as the Sagging Squad. Yep, and we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffling around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, Amigo, oh god, we'll have to send you back in. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunt here, but are you that sly chunk kid? You know the piece of work we're out here to get for the claim warrior on T Star? Maybe I am. <laughs> Maybe I am, he says. Cool as a cucumber. Honestly, not always the best policy, you know. Uh, you know what? Doesn't matter who you are, you're not getting through. Bust off or get thrashed by me and Battle Kid. Well, be. Let's go. Let's go. Bro, sassy kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stumped into the dirt. Okay. That's that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Bam, bam. That was easy. Nice level Pokemon you got there. Thank you. I can tell you what stream response if you want. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Uh, hit me up on the uh, on, on the chat on Discord. I'll, I'll scroll down to it. Persian could have learned it. <laughs> Too late. I don't like Persian. I might just commit to Shroomish. Even though he doesn't have a high attack, though. 
she's new to the team, you know, might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. Uh. <laughs> well, I'm going to go into the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. We'll come at you full force if you step foot inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, amigo. Oh, he's supportive. Ooh, okay. I'm really close to one of them then, right? Yeah, I'm really close. Shumas is good enough. Hmm. I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now, hold up in that base is Team Star's Dark Crew, the second squad. Their boss, Giacomo, pretty much runs the whole Team Star. And he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's sharp. He's a sharp guy. Even our declaration of war won't have role for him in the slightest. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts, then finish you himself. No use of trying to outthink strategy types like him. Bring him down with a head-on attack. Just keep on defending as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up or defeating. Uh, ring the bell on the gates once you are ready to kick off this phase of operations. Time to wipe the second squad off the map. Okay. above I need to revive it okay it say we can heal you but we won't revive it that's your job by the way smiley face <laughs> wait he did the song the team star battle song at least in the universe oh I don't think that's what they meant but if that's the case that's pretty cool in la calle muy sus por esa tita tita have clue what the song is. I have no clue what the song is and I'm gonna get hate for not knowing this uh, no, I don't think no one's giving you hate man <laughs> it's not that deep Are you ready to challenge Team Star? Yep. Using the free. Oh wait, the first three. Hold on. Ooh, that's that's helpful. Uh. There you go. Yeah. Any haters? Ah! I'm really angry. Really mad. Mad Council. Careful now, Sly. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it Star Barrage. To get through, you'll need to use your R button to save multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. What? If your Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grounds you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. Interesting. Let's have gangs. Some jumped up kid has wondered to thinking he can raid our base. Clearly he doesn't know what he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson and he, he won't forget. To our once again, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. Oh, okay. Send your Pokemon out with the R button to try to feel a set number of Team Stars Pokemon before time. Oh, is this just a go battle? This is just go battle. Three. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's sick. <laughs> Don't hit the trainers. Who's going to stop me? This 
this is really mindless. <laughs> this is really mindless. I kind of really like this. <laughs> this is insanely mindless. <laughs> Right. <laughs> no brain. Ooga ooga. <laughs> Hit the R button to win. Yeah. My hypno couldn't handle it, but everybody else is doing what they can. I need this Pokemon. He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. Yeah, get the boss. Get him out of here. Oh shit! Boss team start. Oh, this is so cool. I really closed my eye for this moment. You done a real number on us, party crasher. Sly Chunk, what's it? Angio Como at the deck. I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight on to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play your sick Rickrium as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started! Yo, this sounds sick. You don't really think things through, do you? Yeah, I'm dumb. Time to up the tempo. This show ain't over yet. Wait, the whole wait, the whole car is the Pokemon? What the fuck? Wait, the whole car is a Pokemon. What? Holy shit! That's so cool! <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> Kill the car! Your blood is oil! Sayonara! Wait, did I hit it? Oh, there you go. That's about right. <laughs> Metals. Oh, so he's faster than me. Yeah, I went first. He's faster.
just does that. Yep. Give me your car. About a year and a half ago. Guess that's that. Oh, we getting lore. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted to take on some stuff. So we had a chat and set on a few plans. A few plans? Like, for what? Operation Star, first of all. And also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of the new members have joined up recently? Well, we figured we gotta make some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice. You'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? Ha, no thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know, everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Because we know, you force a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerds to replace you after like five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male students here must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape. <laughs> what? And so far? What the fuck? You were rules were vexations made manifest. My point exactly. So you all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. You earn our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. Oh man, I'm fucking a group up. Why? Aww. Shit, I didn't mean to. That stuck up student council press isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by your couple I'm looking at now, I will follow that any day. It's what I. No, I didn't mean to bully him like that. I, it, I got hacked. I got hacked. Okay, okay. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star bash, would you? Wait, he seems really cool about it though. We're holding, we're, you're holding hands. He doesn't seem too, he doesn't seem too torn about it. Look at him. Breaking up this found family. He looks, does that look like the face of someone that's upset? It looks like the face of someone that said it is what it is. He's not mad. He's just, it is what it is. I'll give you this choice TN2. You earned it. Fair and square. Foul play. Oh. The pain is on the inside? Oh, so he's like a cow stone. Got it. The meat is on the inside. Huh? So this is how the party ends. But let's talk about this Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learned those trainer chops at the academy? Like, what moves you should use and stuff? Oh, God. He might be stupid. He might not know how to read. Hold up. Oh, that's really mean. I didn't mean to. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Nope. Oh, you live in... You, you like it... <laughs> Oh, okay. You like it at the academy? Having fun? It's not the best. No kidding. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Whoa, ho. Wasn't expecting a giant pampador to make a guest appear today. You get a Quaxel to sell that up for you. I'm <laughs> just after a quick word. What's your mind? Sure, I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. <laughs> I liked Giacomo way more than Nemona. I wish he was the main villain. This energy is so much, so much fun. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. It seems all of you, Team Star, 
are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why won't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually winning on a pal, though. We don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal? A close friends of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all the Team Star. Like, how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the, no they're the one who invited us, other bosses, to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. Oh my god! Solid Snake is in this bitch? What a thrill. And where's this big boss of yours now? What did we like to know? We haven't heard from him. I don't know. Must be a year and a half now. We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they would get back in touch one day. But the teachers kept pressing us to call it quits. And then we get party crashes like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So, Team Star and this big boss of yours. They're really that important to you? Huh. Is the sky blue? Let me put it into words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. <laughs> that was really nice. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm sorry. No. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. No. Did I ruin it? No. Oh shit. Oh, da, 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 da. Sai, it's me. And since your combo no longer carries the star badge, the symbol of his status as a boss, he gave it to you, did he? I see. With his boss out of the picture, the second squad is pretty much done for. Oh, Giacomo. Oh shit, is Cassiopeia the big boss? Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. How much? Ooh, five grand? Damn. I took the liberty of adding new entries to the range of TMs you can make at the TM machines. This new TM should help you improve further your Pokemon. Oh, that's really cool. So, one story allows you to be able to catch and control Pokemon of higher levels. One story gives you TMs and more TMs that you can upgrade. And then the other one gives you abilities for your legendary. That's really cool. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Yeah! Wait, is this motherfucker Cassiopeia? Hello, I'm Penny from the supply unit. I don't know. I don't believe it. You probably don't remember me, but you got me out of the tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. But um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as a part of my independent study, you know? The treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff. Oh my god, okay. Force and CD. The hacker is here. So I'll be working behind the scenes. So here you go, your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Penny's a Tumblr girl. <laughs> You should be able to make a ton of NTMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of the Team Star's bases. Also, uh, I heard about how you had your Pokemon charge him to battle. Seems like you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will just go, uh, will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so um, good luck. Okay. You're cute. All right, so by that definition, I should probably, it's nighttime right now, so I think it's, it's the perfect time. It's the perfect time. 
hopefully it'll be enough time. So, again, my question with this is, do I have to? Do I have to? Kill 60 more Ghastlies. That's the million dollar baby question. Do I have to kill 60 more Ghastlies since this is the same thingy? Yeah. That's a question for the ages? God damn it. It's a good question, isn't it? I assume not. If you already killed 16, then you should be good. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but... But I never like to assume, you know? Because assuming just makes an ass out of you and me, so... Alright. I'm gonna count if I can. You know, you can just all leave the area to the spawn. You don't have to, if you don't want to do the picnic thing. I mean, I'm fine with the picnic thing. I want, again, the whole purpose of me doing the picnic stuff is to see if it actually works. Cause like, I mean, I don't, I generally don't give a fuck about shinies in the grand scheme of things. It's more so like, like a, like a trick in speed running. I want to see if I can do it and do it. You know, that's really it. Do I get the dopamine and the excitement of getting a shiny every time? Sure. But, like, I really don't give a fuck about shinies. Because, like, after a month, I don't know if I'll be able... I, I don't know if any of us will be playing this game. Because how often does that ever happen where you come back to the same Pokemon game? Unless you're, like, ginormously a Giga fan or don't have that many games. You should be as good to go as long as the outbreak doesn't disperse. Yeah, okay. Because that's the only information I have not gotten. And I wish I did. I went back to Legends to catch Arceus. That's cool. Not the same, but, you know. Cool nonetheless. Do you have a scallop so I will play slowly after I get my shiny charm and violet? Yeah, that's fine. I understand some people like the idea of shiny hunting and playing slow once they have the shiny charm too. That makes a lot more sense. Cause like technically I'm working hard than working smart, but I mean anything I do on stream is content, so <laughs> I have no need to like speed run either, you know? Even though I do love speed running, but not everything. Hey, truck. I am content. True, true, true. <laughs> I got one of the Chinese I wanted, and the other one is in Violet. So I'm waiting for a friend to find it for me. Oh, which one is it?
shiny iron thorns is in violet. I got shiny dino today. Ooh, dino's a really good one, actually. Is that is dino the, the pseudo legendary? Is it's a pseudo legendary, right? This is a dragon. The three headed one. Ooh. Yeah, Bay has uh, I saw my friend Bay chill with that one for a bit on Pokemon Go. He had it like a, as his buddy for a bit. Now my buddy in Pokemon Go is Mewtwo, Shadow Form. Whoa, 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 whoa. I haven't played Pokemon Go the past few days, but I'm excited to play tomorrow. Because there's a uh, spotlight hour from 6 to 7. And uh, I think the po I don't have the Pokemon. I think it's called Pe Petillo, Petillil, whatever it's called. I forget what is the other thing that we'll be able to get. They did go recently to make it faster. Uh, is it on iPhone? Because I saw people talk about it, but I everybody talking about it was using like a Samsung phone. I saw that. I saw since you didn't have your bull picks that you, you found the alternative. And then you decided to make it a really hard spawn one. <laughs> That's funny. You just like to suffer, don't you? When will you learn? I think this spot might be the best one. I mean, I don't blame them. I my my one that I'm choosing is literally you can find them everywhere. Like my my finishing this game condition is a shiny little chunk. So I think uh, I'm, I'm chilling with that. I think he'll be fairly easy to get. Once I actually start looking for him. Or he spawns in an outbreak. If he spawns in an outbreak, if, if an outbreak of the chunk spawns is over, I'm farming that motherfucker until I get it. Oh, you're fine, Vesper. for you and Aaron to get that shiny. It'll be easy. I feel it. So one thing that I do agree with everybody that is complaining about this game itself, Pokemon Violet and uh, Scarlet, I man, they dropped the ball with not giving us the shiny sound and or just a shiny indicator. They really dropped that. I don't understand that. How did they can go like Pokemon like Legends of Arceus did it perfectly. Pokemon Legends of Arceus did it perfectly. That was the best form of Pokemon. Shiny hunting. It was the best. It was the best. They gave us a sound and a sparkle. Oh yeah, no, my bad. Fuck you guys. This game is perfect. This game has no flaws. If you think this game has a flaw, you have a flaw. How dare you.
They said, I wish you guys paid attention instead of you wanting to give us everything. Factual. Flawless. Like your skin, chat. Patrick. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know if uh, Pokemon Game Star wants to get patched too often, aside from like really broken competitive stuff. I just don't know Pokemon to be the one to do that, you know. I didn't do shit to make that monkey mad. That monkey was mad on their own volition. A bing, bing chilling, bing chilling. Bing chili. I mean, this spot goes hard. I can see so many gases right here constantly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why is that? Four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. That spot goes hard. Let me see if, if it does it again. <laughs> oh? Yo. Okay, I might not. No, I might, I might not move too much from this spot. I think he's fine that way. Maybe a little back and then walk forward. So they can actually spawn spawn. Yeah, maybe a little more back. Let's do it like this. In the grass. Not enough space, you're crazy. Also, apparently there has been footage caught on like TikTok and whatnot of like people doing the worst nightmare when it comes to like Pokemon shiny hunting. Motherfuckers be walking right past the shiny and ignoring it. It's as heartbreaking as you think it is. It sucks. No, I mean, you're right. Some of them do look familiar. And the color scheme for some of them are just so bad. Did you see a Taurus? No. The, the black one? What is the shiny version of the black one? Rest in peace, shiny Bagon I kill. Oh, no. That's rough. I wonder if this, does this work with the despawn? Just, oh God, I'm sorry. <laughs> like just running far away. If the moment they leave the camera, they're technically considered despawn, right? So like, now they're despawn. Yeah, they did despawn. The moment they leave the camera. I can't tell if it's faster. Maybe. I mean, I could just go up and down instead of doing the picnic table and I could probably get better results. Oh, 
Come on, Shiny Gasly. Show me mashed potatoes. Motherfucker that wanna show up. And it's game daytime here in a second. Rip. No! Oh, I hit a dog! I'm sorry. What the fuck? What is this? Take care of midnight. Oh, tap ball. I don't have that. Uh, oh, this way? Oh, look at that. Nice. A tap bulb. Tap bulb. The electable Pokemon. It flows using the electricity stored in his body. When thunderclouds are around, Tapo will flow higher off the ground. Oh, that's cute. I like him. Shiny. Smiley face, shiny. Shiny. Shiny, come on. Nope. Okay. Lighter shade of purple, lighter shade of purple. A reddish, a reddish purple, not so much bluish. No more shiny mud spray though, please. No more shiny mud spray. Yet? And yep, okay. Windows close. Also, we only have one more hour before this spawn changes, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, next, let's do gym number two. What will be gym number two? Would it be this one? Cause this is, is this area one? This is area two, so w would it be area three? Area three. Yeah, right here. Bug was your third gem? Interesting. I mean, I think the person there's no right or wrong way, but I think there's like something with level scaling, right? When it comes to certain gems. I know Nemona scales with your levels, but I think gems are not the case. I could be wrong though. What was yours? Interesting. So I'm just going based on numbers, you know, how this is like area three, like area one was what? Where's area one? Area one, right here, right? And then area two. Where's the gym with the area two? Yeah. Grass was the first for me. 
gems seem to have set levels from what I was told. Well, what, let's find out. Also, wait a minute. There's a few Pokemon over here that I don't have. I already have that. I think I have the Gulpin. But I don't have the, the little mouse. Let me see. Gulpin I do have, right? Gulpin. We do have the crab. Technically, every direction has an area one and two. Interesting. Let me see. How so? Oh, it does actually. Area one. I see it. Yeah. Area two. So is there no proper order? You know what? Let's fuck around and find out. There is not a proper order? I feel like you're wrong. I've been hearing too much information about how like there's certain like set levels for Pokemon. A suggestion on based on levels, then yeah, that's technically an order. <laughs> if something that you challenge goes above level in a particular order, then that means that you, you know it's that's it's numbers, it's math. Vaya slide, qué pasa, nena? It's so wild that we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time again. Nah, -uh. what a weird coincidence. I swear, I'm not sneaking ahead of you so I can lie and wait and go, oh, wow, weird. Might as well battle you now that you're here. No, seriously, look, to prove it, I won't even challenge you to battle this time as much as I like to. But look at you and your Pokemon. They're definitely getting stronger than last time. At these two mix, you'll be a hundred percent set to go, no problem. Ooh, thank you. I'll be cheering for you. I'll go train like maybe twenty Pokemon so while you tackle the gym. I know she's really into battling. Welcome to our toss on gym. Let me register you as a challenge. Your name is Sly Chunk, yes? Mm hmm Great. Now in order to face a gym leader, Brassius. You first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Artosa Gym, that means completing a game of some floor high and seek. As you may know, Artosa is a city of artists. The artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. So some floor embodies these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Your job today is to find the sun floor located through the Artosa. Remember, these programs look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather 10 of them and bring them to the some floor lawn and you pass the test. I'll register the some floor lawn location in your map app to get you started. When you leave the gym, turn right and you'll see two large some floor statues. Head for those. Once you're at the lawn entrance, the staffer there will tell you more about the gym test. Now get out there and have fun. Hey, what's going on, Lucinity? Hope you're doing good. Have you checked the stores in here yet? No, I've been really not that curious. Right now, uh, I, I, I've been taking my sweet old time with like, you know, the first day or two, but like, I want to progress now. Some Florida statue, I'm assuming. Hey, Mirror, take care. Hope you have a great day. is there who 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 hey 
gracias, gracias. Hi there. I look after the Artaza Gin Sunflora. I'll be ready. Challenges. It's time for the game of Sunflora High and Seek. I'll go ahead and ask the Sunflora to spread themselves out around town. Oh, okay. Sounds like the Sunflora are ready for you. With that, your gym test has begun. Once you've found 10 Sunflora Spreaks, bring them back here to the Sunflora lawn. That's all from me. Now, good luck out there. Interesting test. Interesting. Oh. They're not even hiding. What the fuck? What the hell is this? The game for bit Oh, holy! Don't you run away! Don't you run away! Wait, I'm fighting it? What the fuck? Why? I guess you wanna die. Muerte. Oh! Trim that flower. No water for you. Parch. I'm not cheating, I swear. This is fair game. Smiley face. No, it's not cheating. This is done in the intended way. If they wouldn't want me to do this, why would they give me a bike? That's their fault. <laughs> hey, Fulton, how you doing, homie? It's like really easy, actually. Well done, I'm finding the <laughs> this one flora. You pass the gem test with fine colors. Now please head back to the lobby at the artisan gym to report your results. Okay. Since you successfully gathered 10 Sunflora and brought them over to the Sunflora lawn, that means you cleared the gym test. Congratulations. You have now earned the right to challenge gym leader. The gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge the gym leader, Briars, at the Verdun Virtual Club? Yeah. Very well. Allow me to show you the battle court. Greetings, 
challenger. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. He looks like a JoJo villain. Huh. Is that a whip? You did well to come this far. I am Bryas, an artist specializing in grass-type Pokemon. I am also the gym leader here at the Artas Arta Artason Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. The perception displayed in finding some floor was truly, oh, how shall I describe it? Yes, it was truly avant-garde. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk. Oh shit, he watched his Badlands chug. Enough talk. We must begin creating our collaborative work of art. I trust that you're ready. It is time for a masterpiece to take shape. Oh shit! Kill us so mimics can feel bad. Art is creation of destruction and struggle. Else your defeat. Oh, I can't read. Bomb. Sure. Go ahead. Oh no! I love olives in my belly. Wow. <laughs> Sudo Wudo. This has promised, yes. Let us lead this artistic endeavor to its conclusions at once. Allow me to touch this work up slightly. I'll call truly Wudo. What? Oh. Oh, I should have expected him to turn to grass, fuck. That's on me. <laughs> Times art becomes a race against the clock. Let us increase the pace. I love the song. <laughs> that song. That's such a good song. Avant-garde! Oh, what artistic tactics you employ. The patterns of your moves, the minutes, details of your Pokemon's performance, everything you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was, in a word, art. Indeed. If we could not call that a work of artistry, then nothing else in this world could be labeled as such. 
if I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a pass without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? Oh, shit, he, he hit the pose. Okay, okay. If you possess two gym batches, it will be easier to catch Pokemon up to level 30, and those Pokemon should follow your commands as well. To a fantastic trainer such as yourself, I would also like to offer this, a favorite of mine. Trailblaze. So you should attack suddenly as if leaping out from a tall grass, the useless nimble footwork boots assist. Oh, that's cool. My inspiration is overflowing, as if drawn from a bond as well. I will begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. Well, that was fun. <laughs> well, that, he was nice. <laughs> Pardon me. Would you be Sly Chunk I've been hearing so much about? Who the fuck are you? Never I have mentioned there was a promising new face in the Academy. Yes, indeed. Oh, but I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hazel. I am one of the Elite Four of the Pokemon League. Oh, shit! What's going on with his eyes? He's seen something. I also teach art classes at the Academy. So, do tell me, young Sly. What compels you to collect these gym badges and try to be a champion? For fun, I guess? Ask and answer. Thank you. Naturally, there's no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great crater of Paldia, as they say. You know, your friend Nemon is the youngest to achieve champion rank in Aldean history. It is entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. Should you continue striving to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You will be wise to train hard starting now. It will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Damn! Oh, and do come along at my to my art some uh, to my art class sometime. I'll be thrilled to have you attend. No, I don't think I will. Kayla can take those. I don't need them. <laughs> A language class is available? What the fuck? An art class is available? What the fuck? Language? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what? Since you guys swear that there's no order, let's go here next. Uh. And if it's Chief Fire, you know what, we'll let we'll let Pommel take over for now. If I don't let Pommel kill, he'll get upset. Also, wait a minute. So I, I can control level 30 Pokemon, so. Of what level does Dalip evolve? Dalip evolves. Let's see. At level 35. Okay, that's fair. Let's do this area then. Next stop. Nope, not that. I have you guys. I have you guys. Uh -huh. Oh! Mm. 
Oh, I see you, Sly Chunk. Director Clavel? Like I said before, my name is Clyde. Please don't forget it. Anyway, Sly, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. Why did you join? I need answers. That's all. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star and that's ca and what's causing its members odd behavior? Odd behavior? Team Star is subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know? Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they are holed up in their bases fine to cause trouble for the academy. But these are rumors. No matter I'm directly confronting or confronted with is something else. I'll talk about Teen Star's persistent truancy. They're all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Teen Star, haven't so much as set a foot inside a classroom for over a year. For over a year, and it seems the team ranks and file have recently started straight up mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Teen Star to disband. I informed them that they should. I informed them that should they refuse, I would have no choice but expel all students affiliated with their team. But I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between dissolution or expulsion is not upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking to, on the phone to Cassiopeia, I couldn't have come, at a more crucial time. Da, 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 da. It's Cassiopeia, can you hear me? He literally just snitched himself to be the director, even though he constantly says that he's not. But yes. So he is a director. He, ha he is. It has to be. Another time then. Be careful. What do you mean? This is Clive. Okay. I see you coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was uh, there someone with you just now? It was just me. Well, be warned that Team Star will have his guard up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easy as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. So hi, Lucy. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, I have to come at you in self-defense, you get me? I'm not turning back. Well, all right, time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you. Yeah. That's how it works. I defended myself all right, but it wasn't enough. That's fine though. It's fine. It'll, it'll, it'll iron out. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? Call me Sly Chunk. Well, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista. Hey, Sly. Cassie told me to scope out the fire crew base. I thought I'd come, you, I'd come give you some backup now that I threw, but since you're all set. What? Is that you, Charlos? Also, what are you doing here? Is this Pokemon yours? 
This is Charles, the Char Cadet. He's one of the Pokemon that the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Oh, Charles, wait! He ran off. It looks like he may have some connection to the Team Star's fire crew. I better chase after him. Don't worry. I'll work with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, Sly. I love Charlos. Charlos! Da, 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 da. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside that base is Team Star's fire crew. The Skudar Squad. Their boss, Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way through her methods are... Though her methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must be made... Must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out of the to confront you. Ring the bell of the gates once you're ready. All right. Ding dong. Some kid lucked out beating one of our sister squads. And now he can think he thinks he can take us on. Time to give him the boot gang. Let's show this gate crashing what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, Gate Crasher, know this. Unless you can beat 30 of our Pokemon. Oh, it's the same thing. Got it. Blood. I really like Palmont, man. He's really going on me. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to like him. He is a bully, though. I'm not going to lie. He's a giant fucking bully. Hello? Where they make Poker Park 3. Unironically, I really like that game, actually. Like, I really enjoyed it. I mean, when I played it, of course. I don't know if I would enjoy it nowadays, but... When it came out, I enjoyed the crap out of it. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. Wait, does everybody have one of these? Hello? She's cute. You're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. 
challenge. Your challenge does so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. To the point. I like that. Good on her. Pommel wants blood. Right there, right now. You're going down. This move will torch up to her. There ain't nothing but Ash laugh. Please don't. Uh. I didn't know you had to fight her second. I don't even know if you need to actually fight her second. <laughs> I just went. Ooh. Take care of that first. Pomo never sweats. Ugh, is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pull it up just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of Char Cadet to evolve. That ought to be enough power to the, uh, that ought to be enough to power the Starmobile. And finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that. As if you're any better, Mella. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. Ah, that's not true, Artie. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on, not you too, Ari. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. And the big boss? What? Praise her plan. There he got in touch with all the boys and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stuck. The drill burning me up right up. Oh, the thrill. I burned through everything I had and now I spur it out. 
because this is where it ends. The palm of yours really let us have it. Beating me in battle is a huge deal, so here, take this star batch and be proud of yourself. Ah! She's so strong! <laughs> While I'm at it, you can have this here too. Not like I'm gonna use it. Ooh. That's really good, actually. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Pomot. Why is she walking like that? You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. Yo, those are goofy ass boots. You're a Mellow from Teen Star, right? There's a Pokemon I would like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Our Char Cadet. Wait. Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems you came to this base looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his swings move. Do you have any idea why Charles wanted to visit you? Charles. To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would ya? They say Team Star has sold itself in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First I heard of the stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Yo, Swissy! 32 is a magic number. Thank you so much for the 32 my, uh, month streak and the 35 months altogether. I really appreciate it. Then what about that modified car you were mo motoring around in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You heard of op you ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? No. Not Operation Starfall? No. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Uh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me, the rest of Team Star is a memory we'll always treasure. Aww. Well, that's depressing. <laughs> they admitted they collect bullies. What are you talking about? Sly, it's me. I take it that Mela's star batch is now in your possession. I see. Now there's no boss to lead them. The rest of the cheater sh squad shouldn't last long. Mela. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Now, about your warrior. I'll travel to LP over to your phone as promised. 6,000? Only one more G? Alright. Use the new TMs to turn your Pokemon even further. All right. Let's see what TMs we have, because I feel like we do have things that I should be able to add. Hello, it's me again from the supply unit. What, what the heck? Hey, stop that. Somebody in! <laughs> Blech, drew all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyways? It's really awesome. Eh, I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? Uh, mm, but before I forget, here's your board. Mm, your name is Sly Chunk, right? Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of about Team Star? They're not all that. Interesting. 
You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just wanted hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they only wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But uh, that's just got that's just the info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses, someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. I don't want normally talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. Oh. <laughs> so um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. What TMs I have? And locked on your muscles. Wait, how do I go about making TMs? I forgot. No. No, not the emotes. I can make Thunder Fang already. Okay. Yeah, but she's had the talk and stuff. Oh, okay, okay, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I didn't know if that was something I could do immediately. What the fuck? Don't race me. can we make? Take down Charm, Fake Tears, Scare Face, Muscle Lab Agility, Protect Thunderfang. Make two. Oh, I can only make one? Okay, well, we'll make one just for Chess and Girls. Sure. Would you like to have one of them? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. This boy. Because I believe he's physical, right? Yeah, he's a physical attacker. And this charges a... It's a little stronger, but... It doesn't use my stats at its full potential. So I'd just rather do that. Struggle bug, Psy Beam. Take care, Insane. Blue Strike, the sound of voice. Pounce, Metal Claw. Snarl. Fire Spin. Draining kiss. Air cutter. Lane charge. Yeah, I like this system a lot too. I like the visuals. Why does Hidna learn draining kiss? Because he wants to kiss you. He's like, let me have a kiss. <laughs> let me have a smooch. <laughs> That's why Hidna said. <laughs> Gross? Not wrong. Not wrong. He's big and ugly. 
Yeah, but what about his personality? What about his personality? You know, that's what we really like, gotta look into. <laughs> Wait, I, I do have the Taurus, right? I think I have the Taurus. Yo, you're not wrong for sure. Oh, those eyes in the back are spooky. to next. So it's area five, area one, area two, area three. Okay. Let's go here. Why not? And let's not teleport. Let's take the long way. That way we can fight trainers and other stuff. Also, it's fighting, right? These, these are fighting types now, so.
get him. What is this? Is this rock? I think this might be rock. Or ground. I don't know which one it is. Either way, I think I can deal with both of them with, with uh, Pomo. That's ground? Uh-oh. I don't have a grass type or a water type. I need to. Pro I probably need to change that. <laughs> probably should change that. Well, there's a the water type right here. How convenient! With ground moves for 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 that to add too. So he can counter electricity really well. Actually, cheer. Always cheer first. I don't have nothing. Uh, yeah, all these effects are awesome. <laughs> Grab. <laughs> and that's how lobsters are taken from the sea and put into red lobster. I'm part of the problem. Quantra's claw will regrow if they fall off. The meat inside the claws is edible, but it has a distinct flavor that doesn't appeal to all tastes. Huh, what a lucky thing. <laughs> I need one of these to evolve. 35 and at Mutt Ray evolves at... Let me see. Mutt Ray. A oh, Mutt Bray, not Mutt Ray. Mutt Bray evolves... Level 30, that's not that bad. I just now getting a lot of XP for him somehow. So maybe I will I'll use him for battles or something.
Oh no. Chunky rap boy, the chunky, the rap boy. Good job, buddy. <laughs> again you can take naps between these cutscenes cozy <laughs> Yo, the dark symbol looks cool. What the fuck? Oh, wow. Wait. It died already? What the fuck? That didn't do anything! What the fuck? <laughs> Rip both, so I guess. I don't know what I did. <laughs> sure. Whatever. <laughs> Moral support. Yeah, I did cheer them on, though. Get him! Whoop him! Cosmetic teammate. I know! <laughs> Whatever. I I help. I help. Somehow. It's saw Palma in a new batter. He's like, ah, oh, shit, not him. <laughs> Do you cheer them with enhancing drugs? Wait! <laughs> this is like me bringing a magic card to Pokemon Go boss fights. Pretty much, actually. Oh God! Why? That's messed up, man. Wish you would step up from the edge, my friend. Let go of all the lies that you've been living in. This motherfucker's gonna blow up, isn't he? Let's try to capture it. This is gonna blow up, I feel it.
You can blow up in there. Voltor, the ball Pokemon. It's usually found in power plants, easily mistaken for Pokeball. It has sapped many people. Good for you. Sly is literally Palmont. Yeah, what can I say? <laughs> From behind. I still have mixed feelings with this one. I don't know if I like him or not. Fent. Nice. Kafan, the copper copper derm Pokemon. Kafan can lift lows lows weigh five ton tons. In the mornings, it's it heads into caves with its herd in search of the ore on which these Pokemon feed. Oh shit, he's a Minecrafter. Okay. Chill. <laughs> What's around me? Smell the piss. Uh, we should be going into there's, there's no uh, outbreak around here. So we can just go straight to this one. I mean, I don't know if I have Torchera or whatever this fucker is. Tortors. Torkor. Oh, he's tanky. Okay. Togo is so cute. Nice. He's something. Wobble wants to learn Dragon's Breath. Ooh. Sure. Torkoal, the coal Pokemon. Coal is the source of Torkoal's energy. Large amounts of coals can be found in the mountains where they live. Interesting. Definitely got his eye on me. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Alright, let's bring Hypno out. <laughs> Didn't mean for that to happen. Had enough of holding back, yeah. What? Ah. What is going on? He 
can you straight throw balls at them like Arceus or battles mandatory? To capture them, battles mandatory. Oh, of course. Fuck it. Let's see. Eighty percent accuracy. Yeah, yeah. What am I doing? All right, this is gonna be really annoying. So I'm gonna help myself by doing something. Oh, I can't escape it either. Oh my god. He said, "Mom said to play with me." Okay, fine, fine. Enjoy one of these. Ah, fucker. You know what? I'm good. I don't need to do hypnosis. Whatever. Damn. What's happening here? Please hit the hypnosis. Thank you. No, I don't have Toad yet. I got to work on him. Maybe that's the move. Let's let's look for Toad then. His cousin, the one, the green one, until we can find the shiny one. I like how how this Toad is is required. He can be in this game. Why doesn't Sly have Toad yet? <laughs> Which still, there's more than one in this game. There's only one toe for me. In battle, it digs through the ground and strikes the unsuspecting foes from an expecting direction. That's fucked up, man. Don't do that. The toad here is a shroomish. And a shroomish is available in this area right here. So, let me go here. You know what? No, I think we're not, we're, we can actually go to that direction. Also, is that a big one? Oh, Salamence would be nasty. Of course. If you know hypnosis, you die. So you choose to die. <laughs> God damn it, Hypno. Swipes cannot come fast enough, huh? I think I have another one in me, and he should be in the red. Perfect. I gotta say, a lot of the early Pokemons were neat with how sometimes they were multiple in one, like Magneton and Trio. Oh, then you're gonna love the mouse one.
puff. Ain't this a bitch? You're literally red. What are you doing? What the fuck? Why don't you go to your home? Stay in your home. Are you too good for your Pokemon, Bagon? Thank you. I just have to talk some sense to him. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, the mouse one. I like the mouse one. It's cute. It's believed that it will be able to fly one day. It's apparently the influence of information carry in its genes. Aww. Baby. I'm going to make the proactive decision to change Pokemon real quick. The decision is going to be made this way. Done and done. Is the mouse one based on the real life phenomenon of Rat King, where multiple rats get their tails tied together and eventually die of starvation? Um, I didn't hear that. <laughs> I didn't hear it from. I didn't hear it that way, but I mean, sure. <laughs> Holy shit, that's dark. <laughs> I didn't know that story, but now I know it. Uh, isn't Stardust supposed to be the thing you want to sell for this? Like, isn't Stardust just to sell shit? Uh, oh yeah, all this is to sell, right? Treasures. We don't need to keep any of these, right? That. Thank you. Is crashing. We will never recover. Business is booming. <laughs> Four Pokeballs, not funny. Not funny, didn't laugh. Yo, why are you walking like that? Bitch. this kill? No, not that bad. Why does that miss so often? 
I thought it was 80%. That's so fucking good. I miss the first two of every time that I do it. Did they lower the accuracy of it? I'm about to find out here in a second. No. Holy shit, is it 60? Since when is this low? Is this normally like this? Since when is hypnosis this shitty? They nerfed a lot of moves in this game. I hope they didn't nerf fucking Spore. Good lord. No bueno. Piriyama, the arm thrust Pokemon. It stumps on the ground to build power. It can send a 10 ton truck flying with a straight arm punch. Damn. Spore still 100%? Good. That would have been so fun. Do I have a Ghastly? I don't. Let's fix that. Fuck it. Just straight Great Ball. We move. We move, boys. One and done. We move. Also, a lot of old Pokemon now have different special abilities. That's good, though. His body is made of gas. Despite its lack of substance, they can uh, envelop an opponent of any size and cause suffocation. Suffocation. No breathing. That cave, I need to check it out. Excuse me. What the fuck is that over there? <laughs> Broly poly. Hey, Broly poly only. It's now and then and now. Ah! Enemies! Let's go! 60%. I missed a 50 50. Let's go! I'm getting you too, buddy. I'm not gonna work for this, buddy. Roly Coley. Chunks of the surface of this Pokemon's body that have grown old and flaked off have long been used for fuel as an alternative to coal. Come back here. I love the Dex on 2 for Pubidar. It's propelled by pressure and gases. My head candidate say he farts rockets. <laughs> I mean, not wrong. Oh, he's spinning. Go 
Good lord. Hey, first try. Holy shit, it's real. Let's go. Card coal. Coal Pokemon. Due to the coal tar created inside it, the heat of coal of Carco's back never falls apart, even when the Pokemon rolls around at high speeds. <laughs> what a good. What the fuck? No, bro, you don't want this. No better. I didn't get the the that motor looking one. And I saw him a lot over here last time. Is that Phalanx? I like him a lot. <laughs> what is that? Steel type? Oh, we're talking about the mouse one. What else do you need? It's steel is steel. Axes are usually made out of that kind of steel, no? Makes sense. Sen Ooh, Sen Headbutt. Let me see. Sen Headbutt is a physical, right? Oh, wow, his physical attack is better than his special. What the fuck? Sure. Lengths. Formation Pokemon. The leader is known as uh, the Brass. Uses his extendable horn to issue orders to the others when it's the time to change formation. <laughs> the boys.
Basket has a low catch rate, Sally. Oh. You're making sense out of things. Ooh. All right, well, that's perfect. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Start raining. Who hit us with the rain dance? What type is our masculine? Is he dark? Just pure water? Oh, okay. Does, that, does he have an evolution? Not this form? The Arceus one. I'm assuming that's the one you mean. Which doesn't count. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't count. What's your least favorite Pokemon? This one right now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Big. What is happening? Just get caught. You're in the red. I used an Ultra Ball. Jesus. That's better, Jesus. That was annoying. The blue stripe form. The power of his jaws is immense enough to leave teeth marks in iron sheets. His personality is also extremely vicious. Oh God. This is literally a piranha. Get out of here. I hear if you screaming, get in my boys at a higher cash rate. That's true, that's true. Oh no, that one is even lower? Stop.
We'll take that. Oh, the water ground? It pearls muddy riverbeds with its two long whiskers. A slimy film protects its body. Ugh. Yuck. Nasty. Ah! I was intended. The fuck is this? I haven't cut a ruffle yet. I feel like all these Pokemon have really shitty cash rates. Boy, what do I know? Pretty good catch rate. Oh, that's not that bad at all. Good shape. With its sharp claws, this Pokemon pierces its prey and then it pecks at them. Although it also consumes berries, it's a carnivore heart. Oh, God. It eats other Pokemon. No! What is this? This is traveling Pokemon Center. What? That's sick. Thank you. No, no, thank you. Alright, Pomo has to kill anything in a bit. It is whispering at me. It's a laxing bullworm, yeah. Oh, I got legs! What the fuck? Patty cake. Patty cake. Patty cake. Patty cake. Patty cake. Five times. Holy sh! Bye. <laughs> oh, 
Well, that was something. Oh, follow me. Just me and we will escape from the city. What? Bitch, I can get you. I'll make it through. Follow, follow me. Rescue me. Damn! Stop! The Titan Orphan will begin eating something. Sly, you managed to pin down the Titan. That's the lurking steel Titan? Uh, it's, well, it's sure long. I think our little friend might uh, be even feistier now after eating those herbs. We're gonna need to do this together, Sly. Whoa! Giga! Doesn't matter how the big, doesn't matter how big the opponent is. Fish is gonna taste so good. Patty cake. Patty cake. Oh wait, only two? Oh no! Who are you rapping? Not me. Ooh, okay. Pomo, give him the patty cake. Patty cake. Patty cake. I said, patty cake. Now do something, other person. Hurt yourself. Ah, shit! Is this just a, is this just a funny Steelix? Ground and, and steel? This just looks, if it's ground and steel, it's just a funny Steelix. All right, now it's gone. Oh, it's pure steel. Oh. Okay, so no, Steelix is cooler still then. <laughs> Counter? Sure. It has a fun ability which makes it immune to ground moves too. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Ba -da -ba -bum. It's what has new. No! <laughs> that's how he won. He shoved that earth worn and let it vibrate. No! <laughs> we did it, Sly. Way to go, little buddy. Oh, no. Did you get a good look at his face, though? I didn't expect the time to be such a little cutie. Cutie? It's a face only a mom could love. I bet if we go in there, we'll find more of that Herbal Mystica it ate before. Let's go find it before that thing can regroup. That thing was dead. It's just shrivel. If you're lucky, there'll be another herb here. What? I knew it! It really is here. This is one of the Earths, make no mistake. Woohoo! We did it. Thanks, Sly. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Well, apparently, salty herba mystica helps with aching hands and feet. 
good for neuro neuropath neuropathy and numbness. When you got muscle weakness, it's supposed to build up strength again. If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. Well, what are we waiting for, Sly? It's time to dig in. Let me whip something up for us. I like that song. And Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special Winsicore Earth Fill Super Sandwich. And it comes with a side of time batch. That's a token of my gratitude, of course. <laughs> oh, come on, you again? You want this sandwich? Here you go. Buen provecho. Is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. You're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff. So it's only fair that you get more. I definitely absolutely did not make extra so that Moridon could have a sandwich, okay? Here. What happened, Jesus? Ooh, we can cheat harder. Did it grow stronger again? Man, these Herba Mystica really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they're better, or else I'm really up the creek. Don't you dare touch that. That isn't for you. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't have a child like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story. Come on, butt. Oh my god! It's uh, my ball, Stiff! My partner. Aww! Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should help you feel better. Slowly down. Take your time. Small bites are fine. Just shoot nice and slow. Oh my god, my heart. Big puppy needs big love. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. You never really recover. Potions and things don't work. Nothing seems to help. Not potions, not Pokemon centers, nothing. Here, here is the only thing in the world I care about. It's the only thing. So I promise I will make him better, whatever it takes. I want to help this puppy now, even more than ever. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I would almost given up hope. That's when I found about the Herba Mystica. You have done your research. Yeah, see? I found this book in my dad's lab. Herba Mystica. Aria Zero was home, or Aria Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impact vigor when eaten. When dubbed an Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldia, however, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemons. It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things, stuff nobody act would actually believe. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. And according to this book, Eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. 
his importance. My puppy's paws were cold as ice before he ate the last herb. But they warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Okay, you done eating, bud? Hey, can you see? Are, are your eyes open? Yes, I did it! It's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh man, I, I'm, I'm so glad. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at him. Those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to even tell if they're even open or not. But I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm going to bring my boss stiff back to full health. I swear. Uh, yeah, so that's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's find them together. That's, that's, sh he should have said that from the beginning. No, no, yeah, I like Arvin. He's trying to help his puppy. <laughs> Hello, Sly. This is Tura. I detect that Mariah has to regain more of his original power. While you're riding upon it, it seems they can now jump even higher if you press and hold B button. I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of Maridon. Neat. Oh, it does jump higher. What the frick? Oh, wait. Look at that. It's him. Funny, funny. Ew! What a noise! <laughs> Ooh, nice. Form. Air form Pokemon. This Pokemon lives in air deserts. It maintains its steel body by consuming iron from the soil. What a funny looking Pokemon. Is this our new Onyx? Does he evolve or not? I feel like he's not gonna evolve. Nah, he doesn't evolve. Yep, we got a new Onyx. There you go. It stays perfect. <laughs> Is there what is this? Softball. So wait, I done... What did I do? Hey, Zara! Nice name change. Thank Hello, you so much Sly. for 33. It's been a while. Last you saw me, I was S underscore O underscore R underscore A underscore, but I'm glad to be back. How have you been? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Glad to be back personally since I've been kind of what's it, MIA for a bit. So... Glad to be back. Hope you're doing good. And, uh, hey, Crabula VT. VTubing in your horizons, perhaps? Huh. If so, good luck, homie. So 
So next would personally be another gym then. If I were to go by, by gyms. I just don't need to, f I need to find someone to make a model for me, but I have an idea for it though. I mean, that's the hardest part, getting the idea going. Let's, let's kick the VTuber's ass. How about that? Let's fight the VTuber gym leader. What type of, what type of gym leader is the VTuber? An electric gym leader. Ooh, let's kill a VTuber. Anti-VTuber shit, let's go. And this is electric. Man. Hold on, let me let me farm a little bit. Anti VTuber gameplay coming. Let me let me beef up my must ray actually. You don't wanna collab with the VTuber? No. A lot of them are cringy. Let's see how they are before I, I make an assessment though. Oh shit, Palma has Bolt Absorbed too? Oh, that's mean. Hold on, then let's give Palma something else then. Do we have anything ground? Ground. No. Sort by... Oh, no. Hold, sort by... Sort by number, name, newest, first, fit. No. Oh, there's no sort by type? What a weird thing not to put. Ooh, the dig? Maybe. Rock blast. Drill run. Man, that sucks. Well, let me see if I can give him a different attack then. It's just a physical, but he only has like that bop, 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 bop. Do we have another fighting move that perhaps could be decent? Let me, let me go to the Pokemon Center then first. Oh, we can literally just go right here. Okay. Okay, Ryan. I don't think I have a Magnemite. You know what? No, I don't care about catching Pokemon right now. I care about progressing. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. Right. I like the music so far. So, all right, I think we can go for ground right away or fighting. Low sweep and what else? Low, low kick and low sweep. Okay, no. What about ground? Dig is the only thing he can learn, and I haven't killed Grave or whatever it's called. Imagine if fall damage exists, that'd be funny. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do what I was gonna do at the beginning. Ooh High horsepower. 95.95, there it is. I think stamina does what this does already. Oh, 
Oh my God. <laughs> my man said, put me in coach. Oh Lord, all right. He is the storm that is approaching. Get him, get him. <laughs> he approaches. All right, VTuber land. Um, I'm, am I going the wrong way? No. Maybe. Hey, Sly, it's me. How's the gym journey? Which which one are you going for now? Wait, seriously? I'm close by. Hang on. I'll come by and say hi. What? How? Hey, hey, there you are. Look at you with two gym badges already. Awesome. And this gym, you choose to be number three, huh? Well, you're up to the challenge for sure. But, like, just to be safe, you better have a pre-gym warm-up battle with me. Sure. Yeah, that's the enthusiasm. Now, let's go. Come on. The fear of, of battle waits. I think I like this like this style of like storyline. It's it's still somewhat like linear to an extent, but not really at all. I really like it, actually. Before you, t before you take on a gym, it's good to see if you can find a battle court in town and check it out. It helps to see where the court is, what it's made of, and stuff like that. Those things might affect how the battle goes. You know, Sly. One look at your face, and it's obvious that you're getting even stronger. I think it's time I start to introduce you to some of my harder hitters. All right, ready? All right. Let us have a fruitful battle. Think of this as practice run for your next gym battle. Think about this as a funeral. Oh no 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 no! no. Oh, nice move! Your skills are super sure are ripening. Gonna bite it. Yes, the real one.
don't pat yourself in the back just yet. My next Pokemon's gonna turn the tables. Ew! Since you have a Terra Orb too, we can both trash our Pokemon fair and square. I got a question, why you ain't evolving Coco? Cause Pokemon games are easy. And I don't like so much the final evolution of him. I think he's perfect the way he is. But it's, it's because we're doing a, a, a challenge run where I pretend to be like Ash and not evolve my Pikachu. And my Pikachu in this case, it's quick, Uncle. Yep, your skills are ripening quick. Man, you sure battle like someone with more than two gem badges. Well, that was a great battle. Proof of for sure. Here, take these as a thanks. I would challenge you again literally right now, but champions have to be understanding. So I'll hang back and respect your time. Keep on collecting badges for now. And let's battle next time we run to each other at a gym. And Sly? I hope you get even stronger. Like, way, way, way stronger. And once you do, you and me can just battle our hearts out. All right. Time for you to whoop that gym test. Thanks for this. What, she always magging on you? I don't know, man. I haven't really given her a sign that I'm, like, interested in her. It's maybe that unspoken risk. That's it. It's, it's, it's because my character has too much risk. Let me register as a challenger. Is she the leader of your fan club or something? Nah, it's just it's, I got too much unspoken risk. Great, now in order to face a gym leader, you'll, know, you'll first need to pass a gym test. Here at the Levina Gypsy, that means staring in one alone. Wait, starring in one of Lona's streams? Lona's a streamer as well as a gym leader, so you, we want you to dazzle her audience with your skill and rack up those subscriptions. Oh my god, she's literally a streamer! Holy shit! <laughs> it's a collab! Just head outside and you'll soon find out what you need to do. Now, get out there and have fun. That's funny. That's so funny. That is funny. Can't cancel the V-Tour yet? Fuck her. Ladies and gentlemen! It's time for the Le is it Yono or Lono? I'm gonna say Lono. Lono zone. Hey, hey, hey! Your eyeballs are mine. Caught in my electro web. Who saw what is it? Yono, the I'm the gym leader here. Hello, hello, hola, ciao and bonjour. Jim, hello. Indeed I do. I kick it as a gym leader when I'm not producing sweet content on the internet. It's an influencer to bring dreams to the masses. And uh, I hope this doesn't come off as too much of a surprise. But you're being broadcast live to the world right now. Smile. Anywho, Challenger, thanks for coming out to the Lavencia gym to see me. 
I'm super happy you're here. But I'm also a bit of a celeb, you know? I'm all kinds of busy. So I can't call out with you unless I know you can bring the sweet, sweet viewer. No, I mean, I gotta make sure you can bring some real passion to my stream. <laughs> and so, if you wanna battle me, you're gonna have to help me make this live stream a viral hit first. Got it? I can tell you just can't wait to get started. Well, well, well then. Allow me to explain the plan. Come on, Mr. Walks About. Oh, Slide Chunk, what a coincidence, meeting you here. Say what? Do you guys know each other or something? This here dude had a real aura about him when he was walking down the street, so I snatched him. Up for my dealio here. You are, uh, too kind. <laughs> well, anywho, Sly, since you're today's challenger, I'm gonna have you play hide and seek when Mr. Walks about here. Look for the good gentleman using the street surveillance camera. Find him three times and you can consider this gym test pass. We need a better name for this challenge though. I'll call it where in La Vincia is Mr. Walkabout? <laughs> you think the title's safe? There's nothing iffy about it or anything, right? Hey, uh, what up? I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go. Get ready to hide, Mr. Walkabout. I feel that I owe the Pokemon League for many a past favor, so I am more than happy to help. Do bear with me as I try my best to allocate my role. <laughs> Mayhaps our Depot gentleman is ready. Hey, Mr. Walksabout, you good to go? Yes, I am. <laughs> Ready he be. <laughs> Mr. Walksabout is hiding somewhere in this video feed, my friend. Open those eyes. Why like a Magnemite and get to searching. Very not. Here our challenger comes. Oh dear, since you found me. That was it? Our challenger has found Mr. Walksabout. Wow, so you did it, you're one cool kid. Well then, before we move on to the next round, let's make things a little more interesting. You get to have a battle with one of my fans. Get out here, you silly Pokemaniac. The Yono Hype Squad is here. Long live Yono Zone. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Hype Squad forever! Sure. And you win! Well done, Challenger friendo! Time for a change of scenery! Here we go! The next stage is for my totally rat test. Everybody loves it! It's the Pokemon Center! Mr. Walks about is once again hiding in the feed somewhere. Panic. Ah, find him. I'm quick. Oh, and here I thought I had blended into my surroundings quite well. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Walksabout has been found once again. Yes, I knew you were something special. Let's spice things up again before moving on to the, the old next round. That's right, another Pokemon battle. Get out here, Pokemon Maniac Pal. Oh, no, 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 no. Man's been subbed at a tier three for months just to have his mom's die on live stream. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, you know what? I haven't lost to you in my devotion to Miss Eon. Oh, God, he is a tier three simp. My shiny baby. He's gonna be a shiny big boy. <laughs> Monster Horse. <laughs> it didn't even let me read it. That's fucked up. And you win! Well done, challenger friendo. There's no stomping ya, master of seeking and master of paddling. You're the real deal. All right then, time for a change of scenery. The last place will be this place right here, the battle court, where battles are a raging. Can you find Mr. Walks about? Amongst these randos, let's find out. Ready? Go. Mr. Walks about amongst these randos right here. My my admirably done. I hope you'll find your treasure in your independent studies with just as much ease. Woo! My subscriber numbers are on the rise like a super fast Electro's crawling out of the ocean. Uh, I mean, congratulations on passing my gym test. Hi, diggity Dan. What a good time, huh? Yeah, people on the edge of their seats worldwide. I bet I could have some super rash streams by collabing with you, Sly. Not interested. So, hey, when you're ready, just set up my lobby staff. They'll get you all set up to call that with me. Lickety split. I'll be ready to go win outs. Oh no, yeah, they, they figure out how the VTubers are, by definition, a hundred percent, no, yeah, yeah, there's no questions. I see Ono gave you your performance the thumbs up, amazing job, Sly. Well done on clearing the gym test. You have now earned the right to challenge the gym leader, best of luck. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Yono for the supercharged streamer? Yeah. Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. The silence. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Your eyeballs are mine. Cutting my electro wave. Who saw what is it? 
Hi, drunk. Hi, I'm drunk. What's up? I'm Sly. Hope you're having fun. Be safe. Drink water. Hello, hello, all that shall and bonjour. It's time for the Ono Stone, everybody. Today's challenger is flying high like a watcher. Slit, slide chunk, yay! Ah! How are you feeling about this battle, Sly? Like I can't lose. Hey, hey, we got a lively one here. You make a gnarly influencer, friendo. <laughs> All right, then. Who's ready to see me kick some butt? Looks like you're all getting hyped. And thank you much, Electro King. Let's get this show on the road. How strong is our challenger? I don't know. What's going on together? Give a battle to electrify all my viewers, pal. Oh my god, I love that one. Let me punch his belly. Oh no 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 no! Come for a shiny little light bulb. Why Tarras lies if you become a Thunder type? Because it's fucking cool, man. It looks cool to wrap up with a big show punch. That's why. Because it's fucking easy and cool. You're as flashy and bright as a 10 million bolt Thunderbolt, friendo. And I still one shot her. <laughs> Cause these games are supposed to be hard, they say. 
Our Chancellor came out victorious. Well done, Sly. Yo, she's giving Iron Mouse with her teeth. I hate to say it, but I lost. Thanks for cheering me on, anywho, my loyal fans. Well then, what does our challenger get for beating me, the lean, mean streaming queen? I'll tell you, Sly, you win a gym badge. Woohoo! Screen cap this quick. This will be a shot you'll want to save in your brain space forever. Oh no. By the buys, with three gym badges, Poke Pals up to 35 will be easier to catch. They'll listen to you when you ask them to do stuff too. And as my thanks for such a sweet pick, I'm gonna give you a TM. If any of you found our electri electrifying battle to be shocking, Go smash that subscribe button! Your eyeballs are mine! Caught in my electrowave! Who's the was it? Iono, the supercharged streamer! Catch y'all later!